When you look at the sun, it's obvious it's super strong and sends energy all over our solar system. It's hard to believe anything could be bigger. But, out there is this star, Betelgeuse, that makes our sun look tiny. Betelgeuse is this crazy red supergiant that doesn't make a lot of sense. It's huge, its brightness goes up and down all weird, and it just does its own thing. Scientists are still trying to figure out what's up with it. They found some pretty wild stuff while checking it out. Come with us as we check out the Orion constellation using the James Webb Telescope. We'll see how Betelgeuse could change what we know about the universe. If you want to stay in the loop about space news, subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like and turn on notifications. A lot of folks don't realize you can see Betelgeuse during winter in the northern part of the world. Just look for the Orion and Canis major constellations. You'll see a reddish-orange star on the upper left corner of Orion. Betelgeuse is one of the biggest and brightest stars, so it's hard to miss. If you watch it, you will realize it doesn't stay the same brightness. It changes. That's because Betelgeuse is no regular star. It might just look like another star, but it's actually 640 light years away. That is a massive distance. Even if we could travel at light speed, which we can't, it'd still take 640 years to get there. If we tried to go in a spaceship, even with the best tech, it would take over 12 million years. That's way longer than humans have been around. But the distance isn't the only reason Betelgeuse looks dim. It's a pulsating red supergiant. That means it's an old, huge star that gets bigger and smaller. When it does this, its brightness changes. These changes can take weeks or months. Betelgeuse's brightness can change a lot. It can get super bright, almost like a first magnitude star. And it has cycles where it changes. The shortest cycle is 185 days, and the longest is 2,335 days. Sometimes, Betelgeuse gets pretty faint which can be called Van Magnitude. Back in February 2021, it got super dim. But brightness isn't the only cool thing about Betelgeuse. It's also known for its red color. That's because it's cooler than our sun, only about 3,500 Kelvin. The sun is 5,500 Kelvin. Because of this, Betelgeuse doesn't give off as much energy as the sun. So, even though it's one of the biggest stars we know, it looks dimmer. It's like a giant that doesn't need to show off. But don't let that fool you. Betelgeuse is about 20 times bigger than the sun. This is why people have been studying it for ages. The old Greek astronomer Ptolemy was the first to point it out. In Arabic, its name means Orion's armpit. Back then, they couldn't learn much about it, but modern telescopes have changed that. By looking at the light from Betelgeuse, scientists have found out its size, temperature, and what it's made of. The Hubble Space Telescope has taken close-up pictures of its surface, showing gas and dust patterns. With these pictures, researchers can make plans to try and figure out how the star works and what will happen to it. Betelgeuse has also been studied using ALMA, which is a fancy telescope in Chile. ALMA has taken super clear pictures of Betelgeuse, with more information about its structure. One of the coolest things ALMA found was a huge plume of gas coming from the star. Scientists believe this is caused by Betelgeuse's pulsations. These pulsations happen because of convection. This is similar to hot gas rising and the cold gas sinking. This movement makes waves that move through the star's atmosphere, making it expand and shrink. The Hubble Space Telescope also got detailed pictures of the surface, revealing patterns of gas and dust. These let researchers make models to get how the star behaves and guess what it might do. As well, Betelgeuse's surface has dark spots, called star spots, or magnetic spots. These are on the star, with strong magnetism. These parts are also cooler. This is because the star's magnetic field stops gas from flowing from the middle to the surface, leading to cooling. Because of that, the spots look darker. Betelgeuse's magnetic field might be thousands of times stronger than the sun's. This makes the gas on the star's surface get stuck in loops or arcs. These areas of strong magnetism are what we see as star spots. Star spots are not just on Betelgeuse. 
Our sun has them, too. The star spots on Betelgeuse are huge, which is interesting. They're way bigger than Earth and can cover 20% of the star's surface. They can change the star's brightness as the spots move around. Since the spots are cooler, they give off less light. The star makes pulses, which adds to the changes in brightness as well. The star's movement and the star spots affect the brightness of the star. You might think Betelgeuse is super unique, but there are other stars out there like it. Antares, in the Scorpius constellation, is one of them. Antares is also a variable star, which means its brightness changes, just like Betelgeuse. Antares has a mass about 12 times that of the sun and is 700 times bigger than the sun. So, what do you think? Has Betelgeuse already exploded and we just haven't seen it yet? Tell us in the comments. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. One of the biggest questions about Betelgeuse is if it's near the end of its life. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are giant stars that are almost done. Most believe these stars go out with a bang in a supernova. This explosion releases so much energy that it can outshine whole galaxies. Scientists think Betelgeuse might be about to go boom. The strange dimming that has happened recently had astronomers all over the world freaking out. Betelgeuse got way dimmer for a bit, which made people think it was about to explode. But further studies showed the dimming wasn't a warning before a supernova. Instead, it was a dust cloud that the star released. It was still amazing because it changed what we knew about stars near death. So, what if it did blow up? What would it look like from Earth? First, don't worry. Betelgeuse is far enough away that the explosion wouldn't hurt us. But it would still be super cool to see. Scientists believe that the blast would be so bright that everyone could see it during the day for weeks or months. At night, it would be brighter than the full moon. The leftovers from the supernova would stay in the sky for years, maybe even centuries. For astronomers, this would be a thing they see just once. This would give actual data on explosions, how black holes or neutron stars form, and how heavy elements are made in the universe. After Betelgeuse pops, what's left will depend on the mass of its core. If the core is small, it will turn into a neutron star. These are things as big as small cities, but with more mass than the sun. If the core is bigger, it might become a black hole, warping space and sucking in everything around it. It could go either way for Betelgeuse. Its mass is close to the line, so scientists are unsure what will happen. That's why it's crucial to keep watching. Observatories are always watching Betelgeuse. The Hubble Space Telescope takes clear pictures of its surface and the dust floating around it. The ALMA looks at the gas layers coming off the star, and the James Webb Space Telescope shows details that have never seen before. Combining all this data, we can get a better idea of how the star behaves and what could happen. When you look at the sun, you know it's seriously strong and shoots tons of energy all over our solar system. It's tough to imagine anything bigger, right? But guess what? Way out there is something that makes even our sun look tiny, the star Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is this crazy red supergiant star that's a total head-scratcher. It's huge, it pulses all weird, and it does stuff that scientists just can't predict. They're still trying to figure out what's up with it. And get this, they've found some pretty wild stuff as they've dug deeper. Come with us as we check out the Orion constellation with the James Webb Telescope. We'll see how Betelgeuse could shake up what we know about the universe. If you want to stay in the loop about space news, subscribe to our channel. Like this video and hit that notification bell. Even though lots of people don't know it, you can actually see Betelgeuse in the winter sky if you're up north. Just look for Orion and Canis Major, and you should spot this bright, orangey-red star in the upper left corner of Orion's rectangle shape. It's one of the biggest and brightest, so it's hard to miss. But if you watch it, you'll see it doesn't stay the same. It gets brighter and dimmer. That's because Betelgeuse is a special kind of star. It might just look like another star, but it's super far away, over 640 light years. That's a crazy distance. If you could travel at light speed, which you can't, it would still take 640 years to get there. And if you went in a spaceship, 
even with the best tech, it would take over 12 million years. That's way longer than humans have been around. Beetlejuice looks dim not just because it's far away. It's a pulsating red supergiant. That means it's an old, huge star that expands and shrinks. When it does, its brightness changes. It can take weeks or months for these changes to happen. What's wild is how much Beetlejuice's brightness can change. It can go from pretty bright to super bright. These changes happen in cycles, some short, 185 days, and some long, 2,335 days. Sometimes, Beetlejuice gets really faint. In February 2021, it was the dimmest it had been in ages. It was still fairly bright, but much fainter than usual. But brightness isn't the only thing that makes Beetlejuice cool. It's also known for its reddish color, which is because its surface is kind of cool, about 3,500 Kelvin. That's way cooler than our sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Because it's cooler, it doesn't blast out as much energy. So, even though it's one of the biggest stars we know, it looks dimmer. Beetlejuice is like that giant who's cool being low-key and doesn't need to show off. But don't let that fool you. It's a supergiant star that's about 20 times bigger than our sun. That's why scientists have been studying it for ages. The ancient Greek astronomer Ptolemy first noticed it. Its Arabic name means Orion's armpit. They couldn't learn much back then, but now we have modern telescopes that let us check it out close. By looking at the light from Betelgeuse, astronomers have figured out its size, temperature, and what it's made of. The Hubble Space Telescope has taken awesome pictures of its surface, showing patterns of gas and dust. This has helped scientists make models to understand how it acts and what might happen to it. Betelgeuse has also been studied with ALMA, a super cool observatory in Chile. ALMA has taken detailed pictures of its surface, showing its structure. One cool find by ALMA is a huge plume of gas shooting out from the star. Scientists think it's because of Betelgeuse's pulsations. These pulsations happen because hot gas rises and cold gas sinks. This creates waves that travel through the star's atmosphere, making it expand and shrink. The Hubble Space Telescope has also gotten great pictures of Betelgeuse's surface, showing patterns of gas and dust. Scientists use these to make models and guess what might happen to it. Betelgeuse's surface also has dark spots, like sunspots. These spots have strong magnetic fields. The magnetic field stops gas from flowing from the inside to the surface, which cools things down. So, the spots look darker. Betelgeuse's magnetic field is super strong, way stronger than the sun's. It traps gas in loops, which we see as star spots. These spots aren't just on Betelgeuse. Our sun has them too. But Betelgeuse's spots are special because they're huge, way bigger than Earth and cover up to 20% of the star's surface. That changes how bright the star looks because the spots are cooler and don't give off as much light. The star's pulsations also change its brightness. When the star expands and shrinks, the spots move around, making it even brighter or dimmer. Here's a surprise, Betelgeuse isn't totally unique. There aren't many stars quite like it, but some are similar and just as cool. One of Betelgeuse's cosmic cousins is Antares, a red supergiant in the Scorpius constellation. Antares also changes in brightness, just like Betelgeuse. And it's about 12 times the mass of the sun and 700 times its size. So, Antares is no small fry. What do you think? Has Betelgeuse already blown up and we're just waiting to see it? Tell us in the comments. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon. One of the big questions about Betelgeuse is whether it's about to die. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are huge stars near the end of their lives. People think they blow up in a supernova. This explosion is crazy powerful, shining brighter than whole galaxies for a bit. Scientists think Betelgeuse might be close to doing this. The dimming events in the last few years, especially in 2019 and 2020, got astronomers excited. Betelgeuse got super faint, and people wondered if it was about to go supernova. Turns out, it wasn't about to explode. The dimming was from a big cloud of dust that the stars shot out. 
That was still a cool find because it helped us learn how big stars lose stuff before they die. So, what if it did blow up? What would it look like from Earth? First off, don't freak out. Betelgeuse is far enough away, 640 to 700 light years, that the explosion wouldn't hurt us. Even at its brightest, the blast would be safe, but super visible. Scientists think it would get so bright that you could see it during the day for weeks, maybe months. At night, it would be brighter than the full moon. The leftover stuff from the supernova would hang around in the sky for years, maybe centuries. For astronomers, a supernova this close would be amazing. They could get real-time info on stellar explosions, black hole or neutron star birth, and how elements are formed in the universe. After a red supergiant like Betelgeuse explodes, what's left depends on its core. If the core is small enough, it becomes a neutron star, a tiny, dense thing with more mass than the sun. If it's bigger, it might become a black hole, warping space and swallowing everything nearby. Betelgeuse could go either way. Its mass is right on the edge, so scientists aren't sure what will happen. That's why it's important to keep watching it. Tons of observatories are keeping an eye on Betelgeuse. The Hubble Space Telescope takes pictures of its surface and the dust around it. Alma looks at the gas layers. And the James Webb Space Telescope gives us super detailed views in infrared, letting us see through the dust clouds. Ground-based telescopes also track its brightness and movement. All this data helps us understand what the star is doing and what might happen to it.